Hello wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'll be showing you how to build this mushroom tower. This magical build mixes classic storybook style elements with some fairy flair to create a truly show-stopping build, so let's get creating. The materials you'll need for this build are on your screen now. Keep in mind that if you can't get any of these supplies, leave a comment and I'd be happy to suggest some replacements. Here is the outline for this mushroom tower. You can see the interior is a 5x5 five five square and then there's places marked in there for the buttresses. And the door is towards the front of the build at the bottom of the screen. We'll begin the base of our build using some moss blocks, some stone bricks, some mossy stone bricks and some mossy cobble. And we'll be building up too high on the whole outline here except for these two front blocks. The idea is to have the moss kind of focus towards the bottom and in little groups like this. And it's up to you how much or how middle, little moss you use. But I like to have it in little groupings of two and three and kind of variate the height a little bit. Then we'll be filling in the rest, just randomizing the texture here. Make sure you get behind these buttresses so you have a nice smooth wall on your interior. And don't be afraid to take a step back and check out how you've got your blocks texturized and make some changes. About coming up with a look that you're happy with. I like to use the mossy materials next to the moss blocks. Does that make sense that the moss would progress in that kind of way? And I'm almost finished with that part of the wall and there we go. You can see we've got the square marked in and then the three buttresses. For our next layers you'll also need some stone brick stairs and some stone brick walls. I'm going to place a stair on top of each of the buttresses. So it should be two blocks and then a stair. And I'm going to come to the front and start creating an archway for my doorway. So I've got two blocks at the bottom and you can choose what blocks they are. Then we've got two stairs and then we'll create a little archway. Like that. I'll then build up a whole layer all the way around, continuing to texturize my materials. Just like that, I'll put stairs on either side of these five wide sections. And then I'll connect them with some more blocks. You can see I'm using less of the mossy materials towards the top here. There we go. I'll then take some stone brick walls and build three high in each corner. One, two, three. You can see that the walls are now a total of four blocks high. I'll also place walls on top of each of these stairs, as well as above the doorway. And that's how the base of the build should look. Now we can start working up the height of our tower. We'll need four more stone bricks and I'll place these in the corners like this. You'll also need some stripped birch logs, some red mushroom blocks, white wool, concrete powder and calcite, and then some white stained glass panes. We'll begin this layer by building seven blocks up on each of these stone brick sections with some stripped birch logs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'll join these up with some red mushroom blocks. And you can see I'm placing these one block out so it creates a nice circular shape. Next I'll switch to some white stained glass paints and on three of the sides I'll put a four high window in. You can see these windows are centered and I'm leaving this left hand side when you look from the front window free. I'm then going to fill in the whole rest of the walls with a mixture of my white materials. 
And like the texturization that we did on the lower part of the build, it's up to you how much of each material you use. It's just about coming up with a look that you're happy with. That's this side done. The next side. If you're enjoying today's tutorial, I'd really appreciate if you consider liking and subscribing. And if you would like to build alongside me and get some custom tutorials and play on an awesome multi-world server, check out my Patreon. Once again, don't be afraid to take a step back and change your texturization. So there's the back side. And then for this left hand side wall, we'll just fill in the whole thing. like that. For the next layer of our tower, we're going to place an extra birch log on top of each of these and then a layer of birch planks. And this is adding a divider between our two stories. Now we can add on another layer. Once again, I'll build up seven high, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on top of all of our posts. So your post should now be a total of 15 blocks high. Let's check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Perfect. Now for the texture on this, we're going to have the red at the top. So we're going to start by putting in a layer of white all the way around the bottom, making sure we leave room for our door here. Then, on these two sides, so the left and the back side, I'll add in a four high window. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll also place a block above my door here. I'm gonna be using a red mushroom block so that color shows up behind the door frame. And then I'm going to add a block of white and then a window on top of here. So the top should line up with the top of the other window. I'll then fill in the rest of the walls leaving the blocks above the window ready for some red mushroom like this. I'll fill in this layer entirely up to that red mushroom block height. And add in my layer of red mushroom blocks and continue around the build. Can then add one more layer of white material on top of all of these red blocks. So here's how the base of the tower is looking. Now we're going to start adding in some details, starting with the balcony which is going on the second floor. So you'll need some spruce stairs, slabs and planks for this. And I'm going to start by placing a plank in the center of each side. And then in the corners like this. I'll put stairs on either side of these planks. And then I'm just going to build out one block from all of these blocks. And I'm using the slabs here so it tapers out from the build. Oh, I missed the stairs on this side. I can add them in as I go. And there we go. You can see it has a nice circular look from underneath. And it's flat on the top with walking space. Now I'm going to switch to some smooth sandstone stairs. And we're going to add a bit of detail around underneath this balcony. So on each of the flat sides, I'm placing a right way up stair with two upside down stairs. And then in these corners, I'll place stairs facing towards each other upside down. I'm 
I'm going to be adding some stairs like this to the next level as well. And I'll be placing these on the layer above the mushroom block. Here's how that should look. Before we add any more details to the rest of the build, we're going to start on the roof. You'll be needing some moss blocks, some red mushroom blocks, some red wool and some red concrete for this part of the build. And we'll be working layer by layer to make this pretty complicated section as easy as possible to follow. The first layer is just going straight on top of this sandstone. Keep in mind that your texture doesn't need to be exactly the same as mine as long as you're following the shape and that you're happy with the finished product of the randomized blocks. That's all that matters. There's our first circle. next layer and we're going to start working our way in to create a conical roof here. You might find it helpful to grab out a placeholder block. For instance you could use some dirt or in creative a bright colored wool that you're not using for the roof is helpful. I might grab out some yellow. You can then use this to help you place in some of these tricky blocks where they hang over the edge. Of course that's also not totally necessary as you can always place a block and then place your block off of an already supported block. It's just about finding a building style that works for you. So here's this next layer and this is where we begin to come inwards. And you can break any placeholder blocks as you go or at the end. Is where we're up to so far. Let's keep going. We're going to go in another layer here. When you're building with mushroom blocks, it's important to keep in mind that if you place a mushroom block next to another mushroom block and break it, the interior texture will show. So just be careful when you're placing those in and you can always check from around your build to make sure that you haven't accidentally exposed the interior of the mushroom. Alright, on to the next layer. And another layer up. Let's take a step back 
You can see the sections of each of the different materials starting to come together now. Now to finish off the point, I'm orienting myself so I'm working from the front side of the build again. And let's keep building up layer by layer. Once again, we might need some placeholder blocks here. I'm going to put them in to begin with. Next layer up. We're getting really close to the top of the build now. And for our very top layer, you'll need to put in some sort of placeholder block. Now I'm going to use a red concrete here so that way it's not visible from the interior and I don't need to worry about going inside to break it. Here's how the roof should look and let's get a look from all the angles. Now we can start adding some details to this build. First I'm going to grab some spruce stairs, slabs and fences to add some more dimension to the base of this roof. I'm adding a stair in front of each of these blocks here. And then I'll go either side with a slab. Then for the corners I'm going to have a stair here and a stair here, and then a slab in the center. For some more slabs, I'm gonna come underneath the build and place in some here, and then two coming out, so that way there is a slab missing underneath this slab in the corner. Once we've got that, I'll switch to some spruce fences and go up the whole height of the tower on all four sides. I'll also go to the top and build up five high with my fences. One, two, three, four, five also be using some spruce on the window decorations. So on this top floor I'm going to build out from each window with a red mushroom block and then a spruce stair on either side. Then on these two taller windows I'll place a stair underneath each stair and then a fence underneath that. On the front here we're going to do something a little bit different. We'll have slabs going across the bottom and then fences either side. And we'll also add some decoration to the doorway. Just creating a little arch like this. I'm also going to go ahead and hang a lantern underneath each of these windows. Now onto the bottom story. For the windows on this level we'll start the same way with a red mushroom block and two spruce stairs. Then I'll come down to the bottom of the window and I'll place an upside down stair, two right way up stairs and some slabs. And finally I'll connect these up and hang a lantern. We have some other lanterns we want to add in, in here. So I want to hang some from these blocks underneath here. I'm going to start by looking at the front and coming to this left hand side and I want to hang a lantern three chain lengths down like that and then on the other side I'll hang one just one chain length down. Rotating round I'll have another three and then a grouping of one like that. 
I'll then come up above and I want to hang some lanterns from these spaces here. And I'm going to do the opposite, so I'll have three chain links down on this side and then one on this side. Even though this is planned out, the different heights will have a random look when viewed. There we go, let's take a step back and look at these lanterns. Next, I'm going to come up to this balcony area here and place in some stairs. And you can see I'm facing them towards the corner each time, so you can see a little bit of that birch poking through there. I want to put a pot on top of each of these. And I'll also place a pot underneath this window here, and then on each of the window frames on the lower story. We'll put some plants in those later. Next we want to add some railing to this balcony and I'm going to start by using a placeholder block and going all the way around the outline. This is going to make it a lot easier to place in our trapdoors. Like that. So I'm going to start by using my oak trapdoors and placing them along the front and then along each of these two wide sections. It doesn't matter where you place them from the top or the bottom. But I like to try and remain consistent all the way around. Then I can break all of my placeholder blocks and we can fill in the rest of the railing. So for the rest of the railing, we'll be placing it on top of the block of the balcony. And you can see this creates a seamless railing all the way around. Now if you wanted to place something on this railing, say on this block here, you can always move one of these trapdoors to the outside like this, and you can see I can now place a block here. But I'm not planning on putting anything here, so I'm going to move mine back to the inside so that way it's even all the way around. Now let's move inside and work on the flooring and interior of this build. So for this lower level, I want to use a mixture of andesite and polished andesite in a checker pattern like this. Then I'm going to run a ladder all the way up the height of this build till I get to here. Then I'll switch to this side and move up to this white block and build it up the rest of the height. Then I can go in with some birch slabs to create my flooring. The first level will be here. So that's one block below the window. I'll come up again and I want to make sure I'm at the same level as the doorway here. And the final floor will be up in the attic space of the mushroom tower. Of course, you want to make sure you light up as you go. I'm going to hang a lantern all the way down from the top of this point. Like that. And then also underneath each of these alcoves. And then for my remaining floors, I'm going to hang my lantern down, but I'll need to place in a slab. On these two taller floors, I hang it down with a chain, and then on this lower story, I'm not going to bother using a chain, I'll just hang it directly off the slab. I can also put in my doors now, I'm using birch doors, and I've got that one in already. To make this mushroom tower even more mushroomy, I'm going to add in some large mushrooms. I'm going to come down to this left hand side to create the first one. I'm going to start by placing in a smooth sandstone block. Then I'll come up and place one on the diagonal like this with a slab above and below. I'm going to come diagonally up and build up three mushroom blocks. And then I'll surround this with my mushroom blocks themselves. The smooth sandstone makes a really great texture for the mushroom stem. So there's our first mushroom. I'm going to have another slightly smaller mushroom on the back side here. I'm going to count up two blocks and on the third block I'll build out and place a slab. I'm out again and I'm going to go up three this time. 
and then create my little mushroom like that and then with the third mushroom I'm going to come round to the right hand side and I'm placing it on the center of this wall Just like that. The tower is looking really good but we've still got a few important details to add like some stone brick walls on the corners of the lower level here and you can see I'm just placing it on top of this mushroom stem. I also want to add in a flag to the top. It's got such a whimsical castle lake feel this tower that a flag just feels right. I want to add lots of movement and I'm using red and white. There we go, like that. And then I'm gonna go in with some tulips, some poppies, some red mushrooms, oxeye daisies, some lily of the valley, and some white tulips. And I'm gonna add these to all of my pot plants, mixing up what I place where. And I'm also gonna be placing some of these on top of the build. So I'll place the ones in my pot plant first. And I like to make sure I'm not having the same flower next to each other. That way we get a nice variety as we go around. And I've got one more pot plant down here. And now I'm going to come up and I'm going to place some flowers on top of this moss. Once again I'm mixing up my flowers as I place them. And I think we've got flowers on all of our moss blocks now. Perfect. So here's how I've gone about decorating this build. I've used some pods all around the base and that really separates the moss from the grass and it also means I can plant some little mushrooms. I've created some different mushrooms using some walls and some mushroom blocks. And then I've used some white flowers to really play into the colors of this build. If you'd like some more ideas on how to decorate this build, check out the tutorial in the description below. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please like and subscribe and check out my Patreon to support me further. See you in another video.